Hi, uh, my name is Robert Johnson. Um, I'm here with Operation uh, Red Wing. Uh, they've been a tremendous help in my fight against uh, my my inner demons, I guess you could say. Uh, prior to coming here, um, I was in a dark spot. Didn't know uh, how I wanted to proceed. Um, you know, I had some bad thoughts. Um, and my wife talked me into coming here. Um, you know, they talk, she talked about the ART training and uh, I was kind of skeptical because uh, I did EMDR and it wasn't very successful, but um, the ART, uh, ART training uh, that we went through, um, it, it helped me process some of the uh, issues that I'm having, uh, the bigger ones. Uh, I still got a long way to go, and uh, I'm going to follow up whenever I get to uh, my home state of North Carolina. And some of the, the cadre here are going to uh, follow up with me to make sure that I've got the resources that I need. Um, these guys... It's, it's a great organization, great guys, uh, everybody, the camaraderie amongst the cadre being that most of them are prior military, uh, you know, we're able to cut loose and relax. So the environment in itself is kind of uh, relaxing just because the guy to the right and the guy to the left, or gal for that matter, uh, they already know what we're going through. And they know that, you know, you don't mess with somebody because you don't know what kind of day they're having. And vice versa, you show them the same respect. Um, but it, it's, it's a great tool, great resource. And I hope that uh, I can follow up with them and go through some of the family. Um, well, my family, all my kids grow up. But the ones for uh, spouse and me and my wife so I could bring her here. To this uh, place and have her go through some of the things that I go through that way maybe she'll get a little bit more appreciation for uh, the things that I I battle uh, you know the, once again the demons within um, the equine therapy great I've, I haven't ridden a horse since I was 14 which was like two or three years ago but uh, I was able to get on the horse, bad back and all, and the horses, are, you know, they're well trained. Um, so we were able to get out, trot across the field, didn't go far, but it gave us a sense of worth because we bonded with them as animals. You know, they could feel what we were feeling and we could feel what they were feeling, I guess is the simplest way to put it. Um, the classes that we get here are second to none. Uh, you know, they touched on uh, TBIs, PTSD, uh, they shared resources, other, you know, governmental resources, uh, civilian uh, non-profits, and currently, you know, they're, they're having a, uh, uh, what's it, cornhole tournament, and which is great therapy, uh, team building. Um, all of everything comes together to mesh and make a big five-day therapy session. Um, I just I just hope it keeps going. As a uh, as a husband, you said you have grown kids, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming were your kids already out of the house when you went in the military, or were they grown oh. up? No, yeah, my kids, they, they grew up in the military. Uh, I have three of them. I have one that's 26, one that's 22, and one that's 19. Now, the 19-year-old and the 26-year-old are actually 18 and 25, but December 1st and December 3rd, they'll be 19 and 26. So. For, have they joined the military? No. No, they haven't. I kind of... Uh, told them I didn't want them to join the military uh, because of 
um, personal reasons. It's nothing dealing with the military or anything. It's just they have their own issues. And uh, granted, I believe the military would have solved them, but you know they they know better than I do, so they think. Now that you've been through this, this is your first program with us? With, yes, with Operation Red Man. And you can come back individually, you can come back with a spouse. Probably your kids being what the age they are. You know, yeah, they're too old. But you as a dad, <coughs> have we done anything to help you? Because you know, they're still your kids, even though they're grown. They're still your kids. Have we done anything to help you as a dad? Uh, yeah, uh, that was part of my ART, actually. Um, the therapy that I was going through, um, my kids have, the two older ones, they took different paths and uh, I have a hard time dealing with it. I can relate to them because some of it is m mental problems and so I can relate to them on that aspect, but the generational gap from the way I was raised and the way that I tried to raise them and the way they're are now you know I just had a hard time with it and I felt like that I failed them as a father but uh, going through ART helped me realize you know it's not my fault you know they they're grown people and they make their own choices and sometimes you just got to let them make the mistakes so that they learn right. so what could we do better what could you do better uh, you know Honestly, um, arts and crafts, um, I found through uh, previous things. By trade, I'm a military policeman. And what, about six years after I retired, I'm unemployable uh, due to my, some of my problems. But I found that I went... <laughs> I was, I was admitted to the hospital, uh, and while there, part of it was art therapy, and I did a wooden 3D puzzle, and that was the best thing that ever happened to me. So ever since then, uh, you know, I've been, you know, I like, I like working with wood. And so I went through another organization, and they sent me to uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I learned how to uh, power carve, how to chainsaw carve, and how to just carve with, you know, a knife. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that. I don't, I mean, nothing spectacular or anything, but um, arts and crafts, if you could get somebody up here to give, you know, do arts and crafts with these guys, you know, not coloring. I mean, well, I guess you could do coloring too because we've been, we've painted before. You know, my wife and I, we do that together on our down days. We'll sit down and talk crap about each other's paintings and you know and then ask the boys and then i'll chastise whoever says that hers is better <laughs> but but you know it, it it's a good therapy as well it might be the kind of thing that if people have find any interest then that can be part of our follow-on and referral yes it is well, I'm so glad, and even though we have a facility in North Carolina, I hope you don't mind being drug all the way out to the Southern I'm Republic of Texas. Love it. We like it. <laughs> you know, now this is the time of year, it's pretty nice. Summertime, it's a little sultry. Yeah, yes, ma'am. I so, can imagine. So is North Carolina. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Humidity's a beast. Okay. Uh, do you want to say anything to donors? Uh, my message to the donor prospects or the donors um, thank you for what you do uh, you uh, provide us with an opportunity to heal that you know we may not have the availability for uh, no, definitely don't have the finances for most of this stuff and because of y'all we're able to uh, take that extra step and toward being being ourselves our old selves Thank you.